welcome students today's our lecture is about the poem the road not taken it's a very beautiful poem written by the great american poet robert frost i am deepak sharma and today we'll discuss first of all about the author so about the author is robert lee frost was an american poet no doubt much of the history of the author is in your textbook but here we are discussing that also he is highly regarded for his realistic depictions of rural life so he was master in depicting rural life o jadi rural life sigi jinna de vich assi punjab de log reh rahe ha ek tarah nal onu bahut acha describe karda si words khet a popular and often quoted poet frost was honored frequently during his lifetime badi badi honor hoya o da di book te prevalent hai his work frequently employed themes from the early 1900s rural life in new england so with an all he much fact astonishing facts robert frost he is always compared with william wordsworth because wordsworth is called a poet of nature so robert frost ne bhi nature nu kafi describe kita but doma da nature nu dekhan da nazariya alag alag si william wordsworth नेचर नु जिस तरह देख रहा सेगा उने उस तरह ही एक्सप्लेन कीता लाइक like, तुसी पोएम्स पढ़िया होन गया वर्ड्सवर्थ दिया डेफोडिल्स एंड टिंटन एबे सो हाउ द नेचर इज द विलियम ओ सॉरी द विलियम वर्ड्सवर्थ विलियम वर्ड्सवर्थ एज अ पोएट ही इज डिस्क्राइबिंग द नेचर एज ही इज लुकिंग बट रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट ने नेचर नु मोर रियलिस्टिक मोर सटल तरीके नाल लिया और ओदे राही कोई ना कोई लाइफ दा मैसेज देता I know Robert Frost the he ek hor poem stopping by woods on a snowy evening to see padhi hai and to your surprise our great prime minister the first prime minister of india pandit jawahar lal nehru jadon unna di death hoyi the four lines of robert frost poem and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep a lines unna di diary te miliya so such importance of these lines were there so os poem de vich रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस ने ड्यूटी मैसेज दिता कि ड्यूटी इज द मस्ट सू नहीं पता अं कद तक जिंदा रहना बट जिनी देर भी रहना वी शुड डू आर ड्यूटी नो डाउट अट्रैक्शन आर देयर बट हेयर इन दिस पोइम द रोड नॉट टेकन विच अगेन रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट इज गिविंग द मैसेज इंटायर डिजन इंटायर डेस्टीनेशन वट वी अचीव जेडे भी गोल असी प्राप्ति करते हैं वो किस चीज से डिपेंड करते हैं असं अपनी लाइफ के चॉइस लें so the everything that depends on the choice that we take okay now about the poem so poem padhan to pehle assi poem bare kuch ek discuss kar liye it's also mentioned in your textbook it was first published in 1916 1916 de vich sab to pehle ek poem publish hui the road not taken shows frost as his best as a pastoral who combines rustic simplicity with hidden indirect and clarity of style and language so pastoral means jo bhi khet khalihan jangal de na related whatever we can feel ke kise jangal khet khalihan de vich ho sakta that is pastoral but onu ik simplicity aur ek hidden message de naal combine kita and he was often honored frequent honor hunda gaya robert frost now first of all we will discuss the title about the poem the road here in this poem the road is actually not a road idich poet is cheez nu personify symbolize kar reha ki zindagi de vich bahut sare mauke aise aande hai when we have to decide something aur wo decision jada assi choice karni hai wo sade te apne te depend hai so here the choice is compared as the road The road is the symbol of the choice made by us in life. Many times we regret the choice we make, but what is done once cannot be undone. So, काफी वरी ज़िंदगी दे बीच जे साड़ी कीती choice the result सानू as expected नहीं मिलता कि ऐसी बहुत अच्छा सोचिया होंडा but साड़ी choice उस वाले गलत हो गया सानू वधर result नहीं मिलता तो ऐसी उदास हो जाने हैं but वो चॉइस वापस जिंदगी वापस जाके वो चॉइस का मौका थानू नहीं देगी मैन रिग्रेट्स फॉर व्हाट ही हैज डिनाइड हिमसेल्फ इन लाइफ रादर देन 
ਵਾਟ ਹੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਚੋਜ਼ਨ ਸੋ ਆਦਮੀ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਰਿਗਰੈਟ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਈ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਉਸ ਪਾਸੇ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਤੇ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਵਧੀਆ ਸੀ ਜਦ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕਦੀ ਵੀ ਸੈਟੀਸਫਾਈਡ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਮੈਂ ਚੋਇਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਠੀਕ ਸੀ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਮਾਈ ਓਨ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਨਾਓ ਵਿਦ ਦੈਟ ਚੋਇਸ ਹੈਂਸ ਦ ਪੋਇਟ ਹੈਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਹਿਸ ਪੋਇਮ ਦ ਟਾਈਟਲ ਦ ਰੋਡ ਨਾਟ ਟੇਕਨ ਇਟ ਕੁਡ ਬੀ ਦ ਰੋਡ ਟੇਕਨ ਬਟ ਐਜ਼ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਸਾਈਕੋਲੋਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਸਾਈਕੋਲੋਜੀ ਆ ਮਨੋਵਿਗਿਆਨ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਇਹ ਕਹਨੇ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਕਰ ਲੈਂਦਾ ਤੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਰੋਡ ਨਾਟ ਟੇਕਨ ਦ ਵਰਡ ਰੋਡ ਨਾਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਵੇ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਪੋਇਮ ਇਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਮੀਨਸ ਅ ਜਰਨੀ ਔਰ ਅ ਸਟੇਜ ਆਫ ਜਰਨੀ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਪੜਾਵ ਨੇ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟ ਸੋ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟ ਲਾਈਫ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਇੱਕ ਪੜਾਵ ਨੇ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਡਿਸਾਈਡ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਲੱਸ 2 ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ 10 ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਸੋ ਥੀਸ ਆਰ 올 ਦ ਚੋਇਸਸ ਹੇਅਰ ਰੋਡ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਸਿਗਨੀਫਾਈ ਐਨੀ ਆਰਡਨਰੀ ਰੋਡ ਬਟ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਅ ਮੈਟਾਫਰ ਆਫ ਵਾਈਟਲ ਡਿਸੀਜ਼ਨ ਸੋ ਮੈਟਾਫਰ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਲੇਟਰ ਇਹ ਇਥੇ ਇੱਕ ਮੈਟਾਫਰ ਹੈ ਰੋਡ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਮੈਟਾਫਰ ਥੀਸ ਆਰ ਸਮ ਪੋਇਟਿਕ ਡਿਵਾਈਸਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪੋਇਟਰੀ ਚ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਪੋਇਟਸ then some symbolism are there poet ne kuch ek words use kite hai kuch ek things use kiti hai jehdi symbolize kar rahi hai ne kisi hor cheez nu like the yellow yellow no doubt as a word it shows ke jadon poet woods ch khada hai the yellow means ke patjhad de vich the leaves have shed off all their the trees have shed off all their leaves so they are lying on the ground and they are yellow in color but here yellow is also a ray of hope yellow coloring of words is representative of light hope and promise that speaker is standing before his future is bright and stretches before him the both paths are equally lit jade do rastiyan ch unne choice karni hai oh dove he puri tarah dikhai de rahe hai he must choose only one next is words the poem is set in the woods woods means jungle kane drakhat jade jungle ch milde hai because we get an image of a quiet deserted place deserted place jithe koi banda parinda nahi nazar aa reha so us jagah te utthe woods de vich poet khada ikalla kyunki hor ode nal koi vi nahi hai jithe tu tum puch sake ki main is raste jaawan ke us raste jaawan similarly in life we many a times feel this situation that where we have no one to help us ki you should go for this path or you should go for <coughs> this way so similarly there are no signs in life designed to help people to choose their path so you are alone the master of your own decisions roads roads are the symbolics of the paths we take in life every road leads to a specific place and the nature of one's destination depends entirely on the decision that are made so jade bhi destination te assi pahunchde ha it entirely depends ki us destination te turant to pehle assi choice ki kiti si we don't just arrive at a location we make a series of choices that lead us there so sirf ik decision hi sanu us destination te nahi pahuncha denda ho sakda raste vich sanu bahut sare decisions lene pain this is life morning the morning represents a new beginning and the endless possibilities the day ahead has to offer so poet ne morning jada as a symbol use kita that life it has assured to new things zindagi de vich roz namiyan cheeza aa rahi hain jadon vi koi decision lena hai it is a morning for you ik ummeed hai aas hai jadi sare din di mera rasta aage kaisa chalega so here the morning refers to this frost sets the poem in the morning to reveal that the speaker is in the early years of his life he is not in the after years zindagi di saver hui hai so unne decisions lene hai taaki oh ek destination te pahunch sake and his future is spread out before him so whatever the destinations consequences in the future they will depend on ke aaj jo ki choose kar reha hai now we were talking about literary devices metaphor here is used so literary devices kuch poetic devices ne jade poets use karde hai apni gal kehn de layi without using that word like if we say he is the king he is the lion of our class so da ye matlab nahi ki wo lion hai sher hai ida matlab ye hai ki wo bahadur hai but here the lion is a metaphor 
so same here the road it is a metaphor which poet is using for comparing or for showing the choices the poem revolves around the metaphor comparing the decisions we make on the journey of life to a fork in the road fork means the intersection jaise do roads ek dusre to alag ho jandi hain just as we must decide which road to take when traveling in order to arrive at a location we must make decisions in life that will greatly impact our destination so jis tarah road di choice sanu e dassegi ke assi kehde destination te pahunchna hai us tarah hi life de vich jade vi decisions assi lende ha jadi vi choices assi karde ha they will tell that what whatever our destination whatever our goal will be jada assi future ch achieve karange the speaker is a traveler on the road of life who wishes that he could go both directions and avoid making a decision so speaker wish ye kar reha ke main dove rastiyan te kaas chal sakda but at it is a reality ke oh dove rastiyan te ikattha nahi chal sakda he will have to choose one path and will have to leave the second one next some of the figures of speeches and symbolism are there personification personification means that poet uses some words as a person okay as a living being like he has used the line because it was grassy and wanted beer so now this line is related to the road it's said in context of road but road kuch want nahi kar sakdi want kon kar sakde hai human being so unhone personify kita road nu ki oh chandi hai ke i should be warn mere te challo te mainu hor warn karo robert frost is not actually talking about a road fork in the woods he is using the concept of a diverging road to relate to making decisions in life same whatever the fork is used jadi bhi diverging unne use kiti hai oh bhi रोड्स ही नहीं है वो सिंबलाइज कर रही है कि सू अपनी लाइफ के जड़िया चॉइसिज ने हमेशा ही कन्फ्यूजन रही है कि वट वी आर गोइंग टू चूज सो स्टूडेंट्स इट वॉज समथिंग अबाउट द पोइटिक डिवाइस एंड अबाउट द पोएम नाउ लेट्स गो टू द पोएम वट वॉज अ पोएम द रोड नॉट टेकन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द पोएम आई थिंक वी शुड गैट फेमीलियर विद सम ऑफ द वर्ड्स ताकि सू पोइम दे फ्लो के पोइम इंजॉय करने के कोई प्रॉब्लम ना आए पोइम कॉम्प्रीहेंड ईजीली कर सकी द फस्ट वर्ड इज डायवर्ज डायवर्ज इज टू टेंड इन टू डिफरेंट डायरैक्शन जिथे भी कोई चीज दो डायरैक्शन जा रही है दैट इज कॉल्ड डायवर्ज डायवर्जन जिथे दो अलग रस्ते चल रहे हैं अंडरग्रोथ अंडरग्रोथ मीनस जड़िया बुशिज झाड़िया ज कने दरख्तों के नीचे उगदिया ने दैट इज कॉल्ड अंडर ग्रोथ द बुशिज वॉन्टेड वीयर वॉन्टेड वीयर मीनस विच वॉन्ट्स टू बी वॉर्न ऑफ रोड द कॉन्टैक्स है हमने असि गल की है सिंबलिजम इट इज दैट नॉट मच ट्रैवल्ड वो रस्ता जरा ज्यादा ट्रैवल्ड नहीं किया गया जरा जै ज्यादा ट्रैवल्ड किया गया हों हों वॉर्न रोड ट्रॉडन ब्लैक ट्रॉडन ब्लैक इज इंप्रैशन ऑफ वॉकिंग so when the travelers they walk on a road they leave always the foot impressions if it is a dusty road so this this is trodden black hence hence means in the future from now aaj to baad mein jadi bhi gal jadi bhi situation vich hovanga it will be hence from now okay so these were some of the words jade familiar hone zaruri si taaki poem jadi easily samajh aa sake now let's talk about the summary of the poem so bef- before that the poem the summary of the poem it tells that this poem talks about the choices one has to make in life and their consequences their results one day while walking in a wood area full of trees the poet comes to a place where he has to decide which road he should take again i'm saying the road means he will have to opt the way he will have to opt the choice ki main kehdi choice karni hai the path is a path of life he starts debating over the choices as he realizes he cannot walk on both 
ਸੋ ਉਹ ਡਿਬੇਟ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨਾਲ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਸੈਲਫ ਡਿਬੇਟਿੰਗ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਚੋਇਸ ਕਰਾਂ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਨਾ ਕਰਾਂ ਹਾਊਐਵਰ ਹੀ ਡਿਸਾਈਡਸ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਦ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਪਾਥ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਇੰਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਟ੍ਰੈਵਲਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਦ ਫਸਟ ਸਮ ਅਦਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਇਨ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਜਦ ਕਿ ਆਪਟ ਕੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਦੂਸਰਾ ਪਾਥ ਲਵਾਂਗਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਲੈਸ ਟ੍ਰੋਡਨ ਹੈ ਲੈਸ ਵੇਰੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਪਾਥ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਫੇਰ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਤੇ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਆ ਸਕਿਆ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਡਾਊਟਫੁਲ ਤੇ ਫੇਰ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਪਾਥ ਚੂਜ਼ ਕਰਾਂਗਾ ਨਾਉ ਸਟੈਂਜ਼ਾ ਵਾਈਜ਼ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਫਰਸਟ ਸਟੈਂਜ਼ਾ ਐਸ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਫਰਮ ਯੋਰ ਬੁੱਕ ਟੂ ਰੋਡਸ ਡਾਈਵਰਸਡ ਇਨ ਅ ਯੈਲੋ ਵੁੱਡ ਐਂਡ ਸੌਰੀ ਆਈ ਕੁਡ ਨਾਟ ਟ੍ਰੈਵਲ ਬੋਥ and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth now before going to the explanation just look at the last words of every line would both stood could and growth so if we compare the words of first third and fourth line they are rhyming words would stood could and second and fifth are both and growth so it tells the rhyme scheme of the poem that it is a b a a b i repeat a b a a b kyunki first third the fourth all are a and second the fifth both are b so this is the rhyme which is being told by the poem now so two roads diverge kar rahi hain yellow wood yellow kyun hai ਪਤਝੜ ਦਾ ਮੌਸਮ ਹੈ ਆਟਮ ਹੈ ਪੱਤੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਡਿੱਗ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਰਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਪਏ ਆ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਯੈਲੋ ਵੁੱਡ ਐਂਡ ਸੌਰੀ ਆਈ ਕੁਡ ਨਾਟ ਟ੍ਰੈਵਲ ਬੋਥ ਸੋ ਪੋਇਟ ਰਿਗਰੈਟ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਦੋਵੇਂ ਰਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਲੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦਾ ਐਂਡ ਬੀ ਵਨ ਟ੍ਰੈਵਲਰ ਲੌਂਗ ਆਈ ਸਟੋਟ ਔਰ ਕਾਫੀ ਦਿਨ ਖੜਾ ਸੋਚਦਾ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਐਸ ਵੀ ਫੇਸ ਸਚ ਸਿਚੁਏਸ਼ਨਸ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਕਿ ਬੜੇ ਬੜੇ ਦਿਨ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਰਹਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਸਲਾਹਾਂ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਹੁਣ ਕੀ ਕਰਾਂ ਫਰਦਰ ਮੈਂ ਕੀ ਕਰਾਂ ਐਂਡ ਲੁਕਡ ਡਾਊਨ ਵਨ ਐਸ ਫਾਰ ਐਸ ਆਈ ਕੁਡ ਸੋ ਇੱਕ ਰਸਤਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਉਥੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਦੇਖ ਪਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਜਿੱਥੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਉਹ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਟੂ ਵੇਅਰ ਇਟ ਬੈਂਟ ਇਨ ਦ ਅੰਡਰਗਰੋਥ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਕਿ ਅੰਡਰਗਰੋਥ ਮੀਨਸ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਜਸਟ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਸੇ ਰੈਡ ਅੰਡਰਗਰੋਥ ਮੀਨਸ ਦ ਬੁਸ਼ਸ ਸੋ ਬੁਸ਼ਸ ਤੱਕ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਉਹ ਰਸਤਾ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਸੋ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਐਂਜਾ ਮੀਨਸ ਦ ਸਪੀਕਰ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬਸ ਹਿਸ ਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਹੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਆਊਟ ਫॉर ਵਾਕਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਵਰਡਸ ਕਮਸ ਇਨ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਦ ਡਾਈਵਰਜਨ ਆਫ ਟੂ ਰੋਡਸ he stands there looking as far down each one as he can see he would like to try out both he himself wants ke kaash mein do mein rastiyan te chal paunda but practically it is not possible but doubts he could do that so therefore he continues to look down the roads for a long time trying to make his decision about which road to take so he is thinking and thinking and thinking ke main kehdi road te jaawa kyunki ik vari main road te chal paya then i can not move back so the next stanza is then took the other as just as fair kenda main dusra rasta dekhda it is as just as fair oh nahi beautiful hai oh nahi sona jinna ke pehla rasta and having perhaps the better claim but ho sakda perhaps shayad ide vich kuch better attractions hon better claim hon ki main is raste te chalna kyon keh reha better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹ ਗ੍ਰਾਸੀ ਸੀ ਫੁੱਲ ਆਫ ਗ੍ਰਾਸ ਸੀ ਰਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਵਾਂਟਡ ਵੇਅਰ ਕਿ ਇਹਦੇ ਤੇ ਘੱਟ ਲੋਕ ਚੱਲੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਸੋ ਪੋਇਟ ਥਿੰਕ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਸ ਰਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕੁਝ ਨੈਚੁਰਲ ਅਟਰੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਨਵੀਆਂ ਮਿਲ ਜਾਣ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਰਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਣਗੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਲੋਕ ਹੀ ਇਸਤੇਮਾਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਦੋ ਐਸ ਫॉर दैट द ਪਾਸਿੰਗ देयर ਹੈਡ ਵਾਰਨ देम ਰੀਅਲੀ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਸੀਨ ਬਟ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਧਿਆਨ ਨਾ ਦੇਖਦਾ ਰਸਤੇ ਦੋਵੇਂ ਯੂਜ਼ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਯੂਜ਼ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਲੋਕ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਬਟ ਵਨ ਵੇ ਇਟ ਸੀਮਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਲੈਸ ਟੇਕਨ ਐਂਡ ਅਦਰ ਵੇ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਫ੍ਰੀਕੁਐਂਟ ਟ੍ਰੈਵਲਰਸ ਸੋ ਹੀਅਰ ਦ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਸਟੈਂਜ਼ਾ ਮੀਨਸ ਹੀ ਲੁਕ ਡਾਊਨ ਦ
The second one that he took seems less clever, but as he thinks about it, he realizes that they were really about the same. They were not exactly the same, but they were about the same. Not exactly the same. Okay. So, Duro Sanu Ehoi Lagega, when in our life, in the context of life also, when we are to make decisions, ki raste do mein ikko laggenge, but it depends on the choice, ki tusi kede raste te jaake benefited ho, and here you will have to expand your horizon of thinking that what way is good for us. <coughs> if we go to next stanza, and both that morning equally lay. Now, the poet, he is describing that morning only. When he was standing among the words, that and both the morning equally lay. Both means, Dome raste hi jade mere samne, they are equally laying. In leaves, no step had trodden black. Or jade leaves, ne, the, whatever the trees have shed, oh sadakte pae ne, peele pate, or dome hi asole fresh ne, kyunki early morning the time hai. Early morning ke anda matlab ke I am in the fresh mode of our life, young age period of our life. Ke aje mere raste dome mere lai, khulle ne, aindha te hor koi nahi turya hai. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Fir bhi kenda hai, jada pella rasta hai, jada clear nazar a raha hai, ki it is frequently chosen, mein onnu fair kise din li rakhna ga, jay zindagi ne mein nu mokka dita. Yet, knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. So, mein evi janda, ki jay mein second way opt kar raha hai, then whatever the destination it will lead to, ho sakda utho wapis aana muskil ho ve, and I am in doubt ki mein ithe kadhi bhi aa sakda. But fair we, the poet is saying that I am going for the second way. Now, the meaning of this stanza is, the third stanza continues with the cogitation about the possible differences between the two roads. Doma de vich possible difference ho sakda. Here the possibility, perhaps, Doubt, these all show that poet is not decision to make a decision, confused, that the future which not know if the result will be or not be clear. So it is all about possibilities, probabilities. He had noticed that the leaves were both fresh fallen on them, both and had not been walked on. So as it is the early ages of life. But then again claims that maybe he would come back and also walk the first one sometimes. So, apne aap nu claim kar rea ho, ki zindagi ne mokka ditta, te mein eis raste te ubara aunga, aur dousre raste te chal ke dikha ho, ki where it this way leads to. But he doubted he would be able to. But it is also very quite clear that life never gives a second chance. It is not possible कि ऐसी time नो पिछे लेके चले जाएगी, जिंदगी नो पिछे लेके चले जाएगी कि मेरा वो थे decision गलत सी थे, हुन मैं वो decision जाके सही कर लामा. Practically, it is not possible, and that's the poet emphasizing here. Because in life, one thing leads to another, and the time is short. So ये भी है, एक रस्ते दे अगों हजारा रस्ते निकल पहन दिया है. So जड़ा भी रस्ता वो choose कर रहा है, उधे अग्गे रस्ते निकलने. And maybe he can never get the time to come back. Next stanza, it is the last stanza, fourth stanza of the poem. I shall be telling this with a sigh. So, now he has taken the road and he is doubtful ke pata nahi mein apne destination te paunchanga sahi ke nahi paunchanga but again he is saying that whatever the destination will be, it will entirely be dependent on my choice. Te jade vi destination te paunchanga future de vich मैं फिर कम से कम ए दास सकांगा विद अ साय अ साय कैन बी बोथ ए साय रिग्रेट भी हो सकता है ए साय रिलीफ भी हो सकता है कि इफ द डिसीजंस आर गोइंग टू बी राइट एंड आई एम ऑन माय डेस्टिनेशन देन इट विल बी अ साय ऑफ रिलीफ अ सेंस ऑफ अचीवमेंट बट इफ द डिसीजन इज रॉन्ग एंड आई एम नॉट अचीविंग द डेस्टिनेशन इट मींस जड़ा मेरा साय है, it will be of regret. So कहना but जो भी साय होएगा, चाहे वो regret दे, चाहे achievement दा, मैं उन्हें दस्सांगा जरूर, जिधो future दे विच पहुँचांगा, 
somewhere ages and ages hence ਤੇ ਉਹ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਣ ਦਾ ਮੌਕਾ ਕਦੋਂ ਮਿਲੇਗਾ i don't know maybe ages and ages ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਸਾਲ ਬੀਤ ਜਨ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ hence means in future from now two roads diverged in wood so kanda main odon e dass reha hovanga ke i was in my lifetime uh, once i was at that very situation that where two roads diverged in a wood and i some slashes there he is again thinking and i either it is a bad note or either it is a good note i i took the one less traveled by but i will tell with a proud with the कॉन्फिडेंस दैट मैं वो रोड ऑप्ट कीती सी जड़ी लेस ट्रेवल्ड बाय सी एंड दैट हैज मेड ऑल द डिफरेंस एंड व्हाट आई एम टुडे बिकॉज़ ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द फ्यूचर दैट व्हेन ही विल बी डिस्क्लोजिंग हिज ऑल एक्सपीरियंसेस टू द अदर्स इन फ्यूचर ही विल बी टेलिंग वो दस रहा होएगा कि जो भी मैं आज हैं दैट हैज मेड ऑल द डिफरेंस ड्यू टू माय चॉइस so in this poem the word difference is taken in a positive way but there is nothing in the poem that suggests that this difference signals a positive outcome the speaker could not often such information because he has not lived the difference yet wo dass nahi payega hun future da kyunki ajjo difference unne jiya nahi hai it will be always hence the other word that leads non discerning readers astray in the word is sigh ओके जी दी ऐसी गल की थी उन्होंने बाय टेकिंग डिफरेंस टू मीन अ पॉजिटिव डिफरेंस दे थिंक दैट द साय इज वन ऑफ द नॉस्टैल्जिक रिलीफ हाउएवर अ साय कैन आल्सो मीन रिग्रेट सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन हिज गोल व्हाट एवर द डेस्टिनेशन ही अचीव्स कि ए साय रिलीफ है कि ए साय रिग्रेट है देयर इज द ओ डियर काइंड ऑफ साय ओ डियर एक ही हो गया but also the what are relief kind of sigh so dono tarah de experiences ho sakde hai which one is it we do not know as he is standing right now so oh ajay future bare nahi dass sakda ki mera sigh kis tarah da hovega then the difference means the speaker is glad he took the road he did but kanda jis tarah da bhi experience hovega that will be only on the basis of my decision ki aaj main jo choose kar raha hu if it is a regret sigh then the difference would not be good and the speaker would be sighing in regret so j o the sigh acha hoega it means o the choice achhi hui hai he will be satisfied j o the sigh of regret hai it means hamesha on way rahega je main dusri road chun lenda te fer e better hona si so this was all about the poem now if we have read entire poem now let's discuss a poem ne sanu message ki ditta or in your words we can say what is the central idea of the poem so the poem road not taken seems to hold out the mortal mortal means jade assi log a human beings yeah that can die that life is a continuous journey it's a continuous journey full of divergences now and then so it's a continuous regular journey jadi until the breath comes to an end udon tak khatam nahi hundi hai the important thing is to move on without looking back whether the choices of paths taken was right or wrong so ek hi cheez main hai ki agge vadde jana hai we'll have to move and move is cheez bare nahi sochna ki mere jade decision mere choices sige ਉਹ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਮੇਰਾ ਰਸਤਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੈਂ ਯੂਜ਼ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਠੀਕ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਦ ਰਾਈਟ ਔਰ ਰੋਂਗ ਆਰ ਰੈਲੇਟਿਵ ਟਰਮਸ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਗੈਟ ਏਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਂਡ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ ਚੋਇਸਸ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ 'ਚ ਹਰ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਚੋਇਸ ਕਰਨੀ ਪਏਗੀ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਿਨਾ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਹੈਵ ਐਨੀ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਵਟ ਐਵਰ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਟੇਕਸ ਇਜ਼ ਡਿਟਰਮਿਨ ਬਾਈ ਦ ਚੋਇਸ ਮੇਡ ਆਫ ਬਾਈ ਅਸ ਸੋ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੀ ਇੰਟਾਇਰ ਚੋਇਸਸ ਤੇ ਹੈ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਕੋਟ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਬੱਚਿਓ that the great people they don't do different things jade mahan log ne oh koi vakhriyan cheeza nahi karde but they do the same things differently so oh cheeza oh hi karde ne but ek different tarike na so that is the choice that is your wisdom to choose ke main kehdi cheez chunni hai te kis tarah chunni hai in the journey of the life one can seldom come back to travel the roads not taken earlier seldom means almost never ਸੋ ਜਰਨੀ ਆਫ ਲਾਈਫ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਬੰਦਾ ਮੁੜ ਕੇ ਵਾਪਸ 
नहीं आ सकता सो आई थिंक प्यारे बच्चों कि असी ये पोइम अच्छी तरह डिस्कस कर ली है नाउ आर यू रेडी फॉर क्वेज असी कुछ क्वेश्चन बेस से पूछ लीए वेरी गुड नाउ वी हैव सम क्वेश्चन ईजी ने फर्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द फर्स्ट एंजा वट डज अ नरेटर मीन बाय द येलो वर्ड सो येलो वर्ड एज यू नो रिसेंटली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड येलो क्यों न्यू एज इट इज ऑटम एंड द येलो लीव द ट्रीज हैव शेड देअर लीव एंड दे आर लाइंग ऑन द फ्लोर ऑन द रोड एंड दे आर फॉलोइंग ऑन द ग्राउंड वट डज द नरेटर रिग्रेट नरेटर की रिग्रेट है I have both choices, but I cannot make both the choices. So it is the second line, and sorry, I could not travel both. So it is the regret. Unu pachtawa hai. Which road did the narrator choose? Kedi road chuni si onne? Yes, we all know now. Yes, the poet chose the road that was grassy and less travelled by. That needs some travellers. Very good. Then second, then took the author as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim. What does the other refer to in the above line? So other ki si asin kedi road other hai, which is less travelled. Very good. That was grassy. That may have some new attractions. What literary devices has been used in the above lines? So above lines se which literary device keda use hoya? We have already discussed. It is a Metaphor. Metaphor means we are using some words. Asi kuch words use kar rahe ya, kuch hor words nu dasan lei. The narrator compares life to a road. So here, road is used, but o kadal hi use hoya for the life. Good. Next, and both that morning equally lay in leaves. No step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. So again, look at the last five words: lay black, day way back. So rhyme scheme upon kedi si dasi si gi. It's A B A A B. First, third, fourth, second, and fifth. So what does both refer to? Both refer to the two words that forked out in two different directions. Fork, I have already told you. Fork means divergence of two roads, intersection of two roads. So, दो माह बारे किया है, बोध किया है, ये दो में roads. ज़िंदगी दे विच जड़े दो में पड़ाव आंधे हैं. Explain. In leaves, no step had trodden black. So, trodden black we have read already. The narrator means that the path was not very frequently used. No one walked that way and trampled upon the dried leaves that lay on the ground. Trampled upon means crushed. जिधो ऐसी पैदल चल दिया, पत्ते crush हो जान दिया. What made the narrator doubt that he should ever come back? So narrator नो doubt की है कि वो कभी वापस आ सकेगा कि नहीं आ सकेगा? Yes, he knew. That one path would lead to another. Can the owner be sure? I am on one road and I am going on another road. So, there is no way that I am going on another road. So, it is possible that I am going on another road and I am going to the destination and I am going back to the destination. I may be lost or I may be up to the destination. Both the possibilities are there. And he would never return to the path that he had not taken and left for another day. So, it is quite sure that in life. If the destination he has achieved, whether it is as up to the expectation, चाहे वो वो है जड़ा उन्हें सोचिया सीगा, चाहे वो किसी होर destination पे पहुँचिया, but वो वापस नहीं आ सकेगा, but फिर भी ये देविच, वो promise कर रहे हैं अपने नाल, वो doubtful हुंदिया हुए आमी, उस pasture, उस wood दे नाल, उस रस्ते दे नाल promise कर रहे हैं कि मैं इस रस्ते पे जरूर आमांगा। so still he is in confusing state of mind so this was about the comprehension i hope that you have gone through the comprehension now these are some of the pictures of robert frost so in nutshell we are again going to describe the thing that in our life we come across with so many experiences and most of the times we lack in decision making 
सो दिस पोइम इट एंटायरली डिपेंड्स ऑन द डिसीजन मेकिंग के जड़िया भी चॉइसिस असी लाइफ के करनिया ने चॉइसिस हो सकता उन्होंने डेस्टीनेशन सही पहुंचन असी सही डेस्टीनेशन पर पहुंचीए हो सकता असी उस डेस्टीनेशन पर ना पहुंच के किसी होर नवे डेस्टीनेशन पर पहुंचीए बट वट एवर द चॉइस वी हैव मेड वी आर एंटायरली रिस्पोंसिबल फॉर दैट और कुछ होर नहीं होएगा तो फिर भी असी अपनी चॉइस के बेस से जेडे मैं एक नवे एक्सपीरियंस उस रस्ते तो मिले है मैं कम से कम वो शेयर कर पावगा बट जे मैं ये करा कि मैं दोवें रस्तिया की ही चॉइस कर लव या मैं किसी रस्ते पर भी ना जाव द लाइफ विल नॉट मूव एज इट इज अ नैवर एंडिंग प्रोसैस सो वी ऑलवेज से दिस थिंग दैट नैवर स्टॉप लर्निंग बिकॉज लाइफ नैवर स्टॉप टीचिंग सो इट इज ऑलसो अ मोड ऑफ रेगूलर प्रोग्रेस कि लाइफ हमेशा चलती रहेगी और ते अगे मौके आते रहने डिसीजन लैन दे यही यह कह रहा कि एक वे चो हो सौ वेज निकल रहे हैं नाउ वन वे लीड्स टू अनदर हंड्रेड वेज सो इट वुड बी नॉट पॉसिबल टू कम बैक सो दैट वॉज ऑल थैंक यू आई विश दैट इन योर एग्जाम्स कमिंग एग्जाम्स यू विल मेक द मैक्सिम यूज ऑफ दिस मोएम ऑल्सो सो थैंक यू